All right, it's time to make all this and this look as pretty as I can. Um, we'll see what happens. Beautiful. So when people say back to the drawing board, this was my drawing board during solar. I was uh, using lucid charts here and I drew the dimensions of the panels and the rails to see how many I would be able to get on each rail where it broke. You'll see here that I have 32 total and they are color coded in each series. So once I figured out how many I could get on each rail and where they would go on the roof, including where my little divot is, where I have those two peaks in the front, um, once I got it all mapped out where they would go and how many they would be, then you have to figure out how to wire them together. So I copied and pasted that into old trusty Microsoft Paint and uh, <laughs> drew a little tag on the front of it. So I've got those notated because depending on the polarity and how you can wire them uh, will depend on the orientation of which you can place it down on the on the roof. So this just shows you how the cabling runs. Because, so you go up, over down over and down and then you have your two leads and then this one just goes up over left up right 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 down then down so that it makes a complete circle and so that is how i have it designed i've got four series circuits so this is the um solar panel sizing tool so uh, you can just kind of select panel and if it's not listed here you just put in this you just put in the specs into this column here and then you calculate and it will tell you how many of these panel panels you can have on each of PV inputs so the type of panels I've got go with 400 waters and see that will allow me to get eight in series so two parallel series on each MPPT which has two inputs so that is a total of 48 panels. So some of the ones I'm getting are 450 um, watts. So when I calculate those, it's gonna go down to seven. That's why I keep saying I'm adding 14 more because I can put 14 on one MPPT and then these other two will run the 38 panels, I'm sorry, the 32 panels that are all exactly the same. So all 44 of my panels We'll have a max wattage rating of uh, 19.1 kilowatts. <clears throat> so here is where you figure out uh, your pitch and your loss and everything else. So anyway, I'm going to take the total amounts of kilowatts of my system and then just standard module type and roof mount, which none of this stuff really matters. Um, it's just going to give you an average system loss here. And then your tilt. So 30 degrees is absolutely perfect in this part of the world. Uh, 25 is, is good too. Uh, and 35 is fine. Just you don't want 45. And it's really hard to install on a 30 degree tilt. I wouldn't want to try it on a 45. Of course, I don't think anybody out there is going to try to install their own solar. Or as crazy or stupid enough as I am to try it. But anyway, <laughs> then you have your uh, azimuth. This is the degrees of which your house is oriented. So uh, 180 is direct south and uh, zero is direct north. And it even tells you which way is which on this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put 19.1 back in there just to show some math here. Um, and then next. And so this tells you how many megawatts per year that you're gonna be able to pull and then you can copy all of these numbers into this other calculator that I found. Um, and it's an entire spreadsheet where you put in your historical consumption. So I've got the last two months I was able to use these numbers. And then going back to last year, this is the how much electricity I used in each month last year. 
and then my estimated production this is how many kilowatts I'm I think I'm going to be able to produce in these months according to what this historical chart has told me here but you'll see that these numbers are considerably lower than they are right here and that's because I am going to be charging my battery um, fully during the day hopefully if uh, several days go without good sunlight maybe I won't be able to but anyway I'm trying to charge my batteries up to 100% before the sun goes down and by me running that massive battery all night instead of using grid power when the sun isn't when the sun is not out um, I then draw from the battery to run my entire house and that's where these additional numbers come from so um, yeah approximately 400 more kilowatts per month from the batteries powering the house and not the grid so when I add all those numbers together it's going to tell me what months that I would get a credit and what months where I would have a bill and I've added $15 to this for the new meter and stuff and just some fees they charge so they sure they don't lose um, anyway my average bill should come out to around $68 a month and this puts my return on investment um, up in just over uh, or just under seven and a half years which is a crazy return on investment so I'm really looking forward to these numbers uh, seeing how they pan out if I even come close uh, we'll see what happens but anyway this is it and a nice graph showing how much electricity I should use and how much I should get um, compensated for making my bill um, pretty high in uh, January and August and that's really just due to um, cut Christmas lights <laughs> and I am burning my ass off.